So we we're uh, putting some refrigerant in a truck. We're doing the AC system and Bob's like, boom, probably really don't want to breathe this stuff. And I thought to myself, smoke like a pack of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Well, all right guys, if you watch our channel, you probably recognize the 69 Firebird because we took you for a ride in it, because it's finished, complete, done, ready to go home. Except for, it's not. <laughs> uh, just one of those things that kind of happens. We, uh, everything's good on it, but we're looking at it, and it's like, man, it's missing something under here, because we've got the engine cover over the LS, we've got the bird airbrushed on it, and I was there for a while trying to convince the owner, like, let's engine panel this whole thing. I thought it looked really awesome, and he wasn't really leaning toward that, but now we've decided we're going to do basically a radiator cover that goes fender to fender. A little bit harder seeing it's painted, but, you know, we, we can make it happen. So here's what I've done so far. I've got some template board that I've been working on kind of figured out what design I wanted, which is, you know, not a whole lot we can do here with the way it's already set up. So basically I've measured everything out. Um, I've had this piece where it bolts in, um, radiator, all that stuff looks good. Cut out for the, the hose itself. We've got a brake and a roll in it. I think that'll look pretty good. Uh, we might end up making a piece for the front just to cover that up a little bit. We've basically copied over from that cardboard template. Um, I snipped this thing out with hand shears. Um, we've got all our provisions for our coolant and all that stuff. We've, I've already put the brake in it and I put the roll in it. What I'm doing now, that we're gonna have to go get a little more of, I started to roll it from here, but a roller didn't really wanna get in there. So I've started English wheeling that a little bit just to give it some curve because it, it has a bolt that I would like to be able to use to bolt it in that is right there. So, see it's looking good, taking shape. We'll get a little bit more roll in it right there. That way we'll be able to use the bolt. That looks good and clean once it's painted and done. You won't see the battery, the radiator, or any of that stuff anymore. So, I think it'll be cool, but let's go to the English wheel and see if we can get a little more roll in it. All right, out here at the English wheel. So we've got a die in it right now that's uh, peaked just a little bit. It's got a good roll to it. That's gonna help us get that shape we're looking for. So, slide it in here. See if we can just get a little more out of it. Doesn't take much, man. These, you'll stick it in here and roll it and roll it and roll it, but really just a couple of rolls in there just like that. Look how much curve we're already starting to get in that thing. So we've got a little bit of a wobble there. We'll get that out. But... That's me coming from uh, never having fancy tools. I think it's that black Mustang over there that uh, I had to raise the trans tunnel. It was in my garage, didn't have any fancy tools, didn't have a roller, didn't have anything. Went outside, uh, cut the metal, bent it around a light pole, came back in, broke it in the vise. It looks like it was done in a roller and all professional. So we've got the panel finished up, looks really good and clean, hides a little bit of that stuff, hides the battery, that's what we were most worried about. So pretty simple, 
uh, you know, just a few bins in it, got it color matched. So there you go, looking good. Now, coming up soon, we're gonna do basically a full review on this build before it leaves, because it's only a couple weeks from now this baby's going home. So hopefully we can get it up on the lift, show you the bottom side, everything we did there, go on a really long test drive, do a couple of good burnouts, which I think we've already done one in here, but it's a pretty good excuse to go do some more. Uh, so yeah, we'll get down into it, really show you what we did. Catch you next time.